What's going on everybody, Gundam Flexing here, and today I'm going to do an out of the box review on Bandai's UNCF D1 Twin Ships. These ships are from Star Blazers 2202 anime series. Uh, this series is also part of the Kikon Taizen series in Bandai. Both these ships are a 1-2000 scale representation of the models. Now purpose of me doing this video is Three months ago I bought this product, I tried looking up information online, I couldn't find any videos. So hopefully this video will serve as a pretty good reference point for those of you who are looking to buy this product. And before we go into the models itself, I want to just quickly go over the box, the instruction pamphlets, uh, the extra pieces, and then we'll go on to the model itself. So if we look at the box art, this is the front of the box art. And it pretty much has everything that I just said in the intro of the video. Right here is Kiken Taizen, UNCFD1, uh, 1 2000 scale, and the Bandai logo. What I like about this box is that the art you see on the front is the exact thing uh, that you'll get when the product. And I think it's an important thing to note that because some Bandai products, especially in high grades, if you look at the side of the box, the box descriptions, uh, is not a 100 representation of the finished model. But in this case, it is. And it's also important to note that this model does not require any assembly, except something minor, and that's just to set it up on the stand. The side of the box doesn't really describe a lot about the product description, as you see. And everything in the back of the box is a product description, however it is in Japanese. So on the top left, you have the finished product itself. And going on, we can see the gimmicks. So on this box, on this square, you see the uh, emblem of the UNCF. Uh, how this is important because you note that this is not a decal. It's already imprinted on the ship. Here we see movable turrets. And here we see that you can light up three thrusters from each ship. So this model does contain a little bit of electronics and yes, it does come with the batteries. So that's a huge plus side. That is the finished product again. Here we go. And here's a pretty interesting thing. It says, for the adult collector, do not place the product on top of, <laughs> pretty much just don't put any height onto it. But um, what I can tell you is that this model is very durable. Next is the instruction page. If we look at the front of the instruction page, here it comes. The model does come with its own stand. Two of the flat surfaces facing outwards is a mirror. Here it is. And they do come with two J hooks at separate lengths. And this product also comes with its own little tool. It comes with this small little J hook here and a wedged little screwdriver end here. So it's very important to note as we will see as we progress in the instructional video. Here you can see that you are switching out two pieces. Now I find this a little bit strange because the model could only really go to this specific stand right here. However, the pieces you remove is to ensure that the product J hook could actually go inside of the ship. So why they did that, I don't know. You will have to manually remove them and switch them out using the little tool. And the tool here is basically you use the ends to wedge your way in there and then pop the pieces out. Here it is. Here's some more. And the back of the instruction pamphlet. We see again that the turrets are able to twist around. Notice that the arrows do not go all the way 360, they only go like 180 because the end of the turrets will obstruct its movement. Here we see the on and off switch, which is going to be located at one end of the ship. It's very easy to reach by the way. Um, for those of you wondering, this plastic piece is pretty much uh, essential, so you pull it out and the electronics will begin to work. Now. Important to note here, to able to place the batteries that come with the products, it says here you can use a screwdriver uh, to remove one end of the piece and then input the batteries in. 
Uh, it is not complex. You could use your own screwdriver or you're able to use the tool, which we will go over. And here is the tool again about the batteries. This is very easy to assemble. This isn't uh, something overly complicated. Um, so this in of itself about the battery placement shouldn't deter you from not getting this product. Is That is the instruction. Now I want to show you all the extra pieces that I still have in case in the original, uh, in the original packaging. Um, very quickly, these are the extra pieces. They're pretty much uh, here is these two small pieces on my left thumb are basically this pieces that uh, are able to allow the model to hook to the J hook onto the uh, display. And these two are also just extra pieces. Same with these two pieces here. So nothing really special about the extra extras, uh, but it's just something to note that you will have them and you could just keep them in your box. But what I really want to show you is the little cool little tool. So again, one end is like a J hook, and that's just needed to wedge some of the other uh, pieces out. And here is that little screwdriver that you might be able to use. Now, when I installed the battery, I had a really a real screwdriver, so I didn't use this end at all. And that's what I would recommend right here. But it's something very nice to have. Now, looking at the product itself, if we remove the two ships, remove the twin ships. This is the stand, and again, it is a mirror, two-sided mirrors, and if you look closely, you could see there are scuffs on the mirror, and that's, the, that's something that came with the product itself. It sort of sucks. It's not too noticeable because the main attention are the two twin ships, but it does suck to have a little scuff marks on something that you purchased that you didn't even cause. And the mirror is able to open all the way. Uh, but there is no point in opening it that far because you won't be able to place the ships such as this. Now, here we also get the nameplate of the product, which is pretty cool. And before we put the twin ships back on the stand, let's look at the product. So these are twin models. Um, so everything you see in this hand is pretty much an exact replication of the other ship. Minus one minute detail is the hooks here. So you notice the hook length here is much longer than here uh, and the other ship and this is to prevent the two ships from colliding whenever you set it up. Other than that everything is pretty much exactly the same. This is a very detailed model. You can see that this is not a decal. This is imprinted on the plastic itself and I'm not sure if the camera could capture this but this product is a little bit weathered um, it's not bright blue. It does look like it has been through. Uh, it looks like it has aged. And what I like about this product is that it is hard plastic. So all the little pillars you see here, it's hard plastic. It's going to be very difficult for you to damage unless if you drop it at extreme heights. And I'm thinking maybe even farther, maybe higher than hip length. But again, it's hard plastic and that includes the turrets. These turrets do not bend very easily and they do not warp very easily and as the product itself said the turrets are able to twist and turn around and if you even look even closer you can see more emblems right here at the front of the ship and on top of the turrets this is a awesome product great details if you even look closely you can even see the different colors between the teal and at the front of the ship here you can see a little bit of glossy blue for, uh, you also get mixed colors of white and everything like that. Now, where is the on and off switch? Now, the batteries is going to be located at this end of the ship, I believe. Um, but the on and, no, excuse me, the batteries will most likely be located where my thumbs are at, right here. And again, in order to get to that piece, you're going to have to use the tool and wedge yourself in there. But even looking at the bottom of the ship, you can tell there is small imprint and it's it's awesome because it's the small details that really makes the product overall stand out in order to turn on the uh, the three little thrusters you just remove the piece as such and you can see a on and off switch obviously the switch is in the off position but if we turn it on we look at the back of the ship 
and here it is. It's not too terribly bright. It is like a soothing orange color, like a dark orange color. And uh, if I just sort of turn off one light here, you can see how bright it is, which is pretty cool. Uh, I wouldn't count on the battery life probably lasting over 12 hours. It is like a default battery that comes with the product. I just turned it off and I'm just going to put the cover back on. And here we see two more emblems right there and there. That is the product of the ship. And again, it's the exact same with the other model. Even the top of the ship where the helm is at, it's in different colors. It's pretty awesome. Highly detailed model. No assembly required aside from the battery. And again, that in of itself shouldn't deter you from not purchasing this model if you're looking for it. And to put it back onto the stand, it's an easy form. You just one side hook over, under, and then the same side hook over, under. Oops, excuse me. Yeah, I'm gonna bring this product closer. And hook it under, over, as such. Oh, and I forgot to go over the J-hooks real quick. But these J-hooks are very sturdy. Like, you could shake the ship, it's not gonna go anywhere. You could pretty much shake it. You don't have to worry about whether or not the weight of the model is able to hold. Um, because, I mean, it is, it is fairly in there and it will take a significant amount of force to actually move it. The J-hooks in of itself, looking at it, you could twist and turn the ship up and down like this. And then you're able to hold it and just twist it in like this. And even the back end of the, uh, the hook, you're able to twist it. So you are given a great degree of uh, mobility in terms of hooking uh, the ship to the frame. Um, to the frame and then uh, modeling it however you want to um, and I think I want to slide this one here and put the one far out as such and uh, That is the product. I hope this video has been informative again uh, There I didn't see any videos when I purchased this product three months out So I figured now would be a good time to upload it now that I have the time uh, if you have any questions or comments, please post them down in the section below. As always, I appreciate you all for watching. Uh, let me know if you actually purchased the product yourself, and if you do, uh, let me know what you think. Peace out.